Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we were in the studio, I was sitting on this couch, which I cannot reenact because it's completely full of junk now, and that's only because I've been working on one of the things that that last video was about, which was making some changes to the Brickitech studio, and I've gotten a lot done. I still have a lot left to do, but I wanted to make this video to kind of give you an update on where it is and kind of just take you through the process like I said I was going to do. So this video is going to be kind of long and rambly, and if that's not your style, you might want to just skip this one and come back to the next one, but if you do want to see what I've been working on, let's do it. I'm just going to take you around the whole studio here, starting here with the couch, which you guys just saw. Again, a very big mess, but it was just a place where I need to kind of put things so it's a little bit more organized and I can get everything else taken care of. The main thing that we want to talk about is this space over here, which I'm going to take you to now. Over here, right now, I have my studio lights and tripods and stuff. This stuff is probably going to get moved. I find myself not really using these studio lights very much. And I need to clear up this space because I just bought something online for Clark Man yesterday, or possibly the day before that is going to be really awesome. I'm going to keep it as a surprise to you guys, but you're going to be seeing the video and let's just say it's going to be something that he's going to be really excited about and it's going to kind of fill up this space. I'd love to see if you can guess what it is. This isn't really worth talking about. This is my old desk that I used to use for my computer, which I'm now using again. I don't think this is actually going to stay here. I'm not a big fan of the way that looks. It doesn't really match anything else and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Plus it's really small. This is my computer chair and you can see if you pull this in, not a lot of space there, so I might be upgrading that. The reason that I'm using that is because I made a change over here, and that is I put both of these tables together. I'm trying to create like this giant space right here in the center of the room. I think if I come over here, you can actually see it better. Look at that awesome table space that we have. This is going to be where we do our videos, and I can kind of film this from pretty much any direction. I think it's going to look pretty cool. And we just have, these are six foot tables, and I think it's 30 inches or something like this way. So we've got a lot of table space to kind of mess around and just have fun. That's what the whole point of this channel is. So this is going to be our primary workstation and what you're going to be seeing in the video is pretty much what's back here, but this is going to be changing quite a bit. I'll show you what it looks like right now. This right here is something that I just put in this morning. This is everything that I've kept built so far. I just put it all on top there. But the truth is this is going to be where my future Lego city is going to be, which is going to be the next thing that I start sorting out once this whole studio thing gets taken care of. My Lego city is going to be on top of this. I also want to show you below this, I ended up putting my storage containers down here. So all the things that I have in here, these are like my poly bags from before. They're all under here and they fit really nicely. I love the way that looks. We're here making a video and the lighting's not going to be this bad because I got a blind for that up there. So a lot of that backlighting is going to be cut out. You're going to be able to see my city in the background here and it's going to be changing over time because it's never going to be a stagnant thing, especially with a three-year-old. My city's always going to be changing and growing and maybe shrinking and getting crushed and getting built. It's just going to be a fun thing to have in the background. Speaking of backgrounds, this situation that you see right here, this giant mess, this is going to be resolved today, I think, assuming Amazon makes my delivery. I bought another one of these shelving units. So we're gonna have a third one here and it should fit perfectly like between here if I did my measurements right. I've been doing a lot of measuring here. So we'll have that. I'm gonna be putting more stuff on there including sets that we haven't built yet. And I just wanna organize this a lot because it is just a terrible mess. I used to have it where it was organized by theme but you can see it's kind of just gotten a little out of control and I even have sets on the floor. There's more sets over here. I couldn't fit it all on this little table. But speaking of this table and all the stuff that's on it, what I really want to do with all of this is actually get a fourth shelf to put right here, I'm thinking, and I'm going to have this as a display shelf. So also in our videos when we're, you know, filming like this or like this or however it is, you're going to be able to see all of the stuff that I, I kept built and I think it'll be visually interesting to have in the background. Plus it's going to be changing all the time as well. Continuing on with this really random tour, you probably noticed this TV over here. This used to be over here under this window, but I slid it over of course. And I debated whether I was going to keep this here or not. I don't think I am. I really thought it'd be cool to have a TV over here so when we're building or whatever I could have something on. But I don't really watch TV that much and I probably would just watch YouTube or have my iPad on. So what I'm thinking about doing, and I think this makes a lot of sense, is taking this and we're going to take it over here. So come with me. You guys can look at this stuff in the background. Uh-oh. Clark Man wants to come down. You can come on down, bud. I'm just doing a tour. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend, the Clark Man. What do you think about all these changes down here? They're cool. Where was I before you came down here? I came down to play the trains. You came down to play the trains, but what was I talking about? Um, oh, the TV. The TV is going to be coming over here. You hear a the myth Wall. Yeah, that's a bit of the problem. You may or may not have noticed that there is a lot of stuff on the wall here, and this is probably one of the biggest mistakes that I've made in this studio. Not in the fact that I made the wall, it's a mistake in the way that I did it. I made it in a way that it can't be moved. So when I want to move a TV over here, I can't just move this easily, but I can do something, and that's what I want to show you right now. Considering this move for a while, and I was thinking about my options and what I can do, so when we went to Walmart, I ended up buying two of these 22 by 28 inch frames, 
and I also bought some black poster board. And what I'm gonna try to do is replicate the mini finger wall on this sort of like, I guess you guys can probably already tell what I'm about to do. I'm gonna put it on there like that. I'm gonna put my strips of tape on there, trying to reuse what's already on the wall here. Hopefully I can just pull this off and I should be able to. Worst case scenario is I just have to super glue it onto that, but it's gonna be a lot of work. I'm gonna try to start working on it today and I'm gonna try to update you in this video on how much progress I get done on it. But this is gonna suck. I should not have done this. Take this as a word of warning if you're ever thinking about making a wall like this. Only do it if you plan to never have to move this stuff. So there you go, there's an update on the studio. Again, we have so much more space over here to really work with. There is some downsides though, the main thing being the minifig wall that I have to put a lot of work into trying to reestablish it. But this could actually turn out really cool because if I can get this whole frame thing to work out, I'll just keep buying frames as time goes by and we'll just keep putting them up on the wall. And also if we ever move out of this place, I can take the whole minifig wall with me and not have to worry about it then, which is definitely a good thing when you're moving. So like I said already, I'll keep you guys updated on what we're doing here. The next thing's gonna be the shelf that's coming in there, more shelves over there, mini fig wall getting moved. And I also painted the shelves that I plan to put up on top of the wall up here, which is why I end up having uh, black paint all over myself. But you know, things are happening and I'm really excited about this. This studio is gonna be really awesome once I finally finish it up and get it all finalized the way I want it. And I think we're already off to a good start. Let me know what you guys think about all this and wish me luck on this whole wall situation. I will update you guys. If it's not in this video, it'll definitely be in a future video, just depending on how much time it takes. Here is the update on what I've been working on. As you can see, there are mini fingers all over the floor here and here is what I made last night. I got the poster frame with the black poster board in there and then I've got all my stuff lined up there nicely. Obviously I don't have all the mini fingers on here. I just kind of wanted to see how it would look and I think it's gonna work out really well putting this up on the wall. Speaking of walls, we did have some setback here or should I say setbacks. You can see in a couple spots, I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but you can see how it kind of left a little bit of a line here which I think if I sand this off and kind of put some putty or whatever on this, I can fix this up. I still have some of the same paint that I use for these walls. So it shouldn't be too bad, but uh, that's kind of what your wall looks like after using this stuff if you tear it off. And again, we did have a little bit of problems there. But speaking of problems, you may notice that I still have a lot of mini fingers on the wall. And that's because when I was making my second frame here, I had a bit of a problem. And the problem was that my frame cracked. Again, I don't know how well you can see it, but I was trying to force this poster board in here, which the first one slid in perfectly. It was the exact size I needed. This one was a little bit too big. And as I was trying to get it in there, this snapped on the side. I paid like $12 for this at Walmart. So sometimes you get what you pay for, but that pretty much halted my progress. I actually need to go back to Walmart now because I need to buy another one of these and probably more poster board. Plus I'm going to need another one for the sig fig wall. So I'm just going to buy like three of them, I think, just to have some backups because I think the mini fingers are probably gonna keep coming and I still have more to put on the wall. One last thing I wanna talk about is you notice that the poster is not there anymore. I'm gonna show you where I wanna put that. I think the poster is gonna go right here above where my city is gonna be and it's gonna look really awesome in the background here. I can't really give you the full look because I have to hold it up, but you know, you get the idea. And in terms of the mini finger wall, I really have no idea at this point. So give me some suggestions here. I'll kind of pan you around. Maybe on this wall, once the TV's gone, I'll have them like from floor to ceiling just a mini finger wall, that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, I will give you guys an update on this again once I get to Walmart and replace this and get everybody all taken care of. It's gonna be a bit of a process, but we can start filming down here now, I think.